wearing dresses anymore. Except for Black Mage. Man, getting zoomed by five them. How much does that have to suck, huh? Well, statistically speaking, slightly more than a giant sucker A dire one. Now calculate the suckiness as a factor of inability. Suckier than a level one ranger with a dull knife and a badger animal companion. Wow, that is sucky. Can we just get on with it? Yes, Black Mage has a point. We really ought to stop dawdling. Thank you, Red Mage. Uh, what's the hold up? Ladies first! I'm beginning to think they don't respect me. So, where's this alleged elven black market? That's just it. See, to avoid certain legal complications, the EBM is a mobile operation. You never know where it'll be next. I'm sure this Elfland tourist information book will be able to tell us where it is. Should we say anything? Guys, I've got something. Apparently, A is for Apple. B is still a mystery, but my hopes are high that the next page will shed some light on that subject. Let me talk to you. The only way I know how. That's not a travel guide. And in any case, I seriously doubt one would have information on how to find an underground criminal trading ring. Hmm, I was hoping that B would be for black market, but no such luck, I'm afraid. It's boy. You need me precious little alternative, and I thank you for it. We don't have time for another scab fest. Just one. I deserve at least that much, damn you. Okay, if you can behave yourself from now on, you can stab him once around the Elfland. Now that's what I call incentive. I can do it, no problem. Darn it, C is for cow. I really wish it had been criminal marketplace. Fooey. Ah! Ah, I found us a real travel guide. We'll track down that pesky black market in no time. Let's see now. There's a creepy half-naked kid fountain. I think I'll just turn to the next page. Where could you hide a massive criminal syndicate? How about a picturesque forest of trees? Forest of trees? That's nearly as inspired as the name Elfman. I admit the Elfin Bureau of Nomenclature could benefit from a bigger budget, but I stand by my earlier Donkey Rimmer company. What about the Royal Academy of Archery, Elfland Campus? I can't speak for the other criminal masterminds, but I'd rather not have arrows in around my head whilst I conduct my business. This is getting us nowhere. We need action. Excuse me, good sir, you appear to be a native. Mayhaps you could direct me to the nearest Elven Black Market? Six minutes later... Don't look at me like that. How was I supposed to know he was a Royal Guard? One would think his Royal Guard uniform would have been the first tip off. Hindsight is always 2020. Okay, I have some good news and some bad news. If it's, we're going to kill you for revenge and we're in jail, but, respectively, then I'm way ahead of you. No, but I talked to some of the other inmates about the Elven Black Market. Most of these guys are just paid thugs, but Snake seemed to have a lead in its location. I'm pretty sure I like my version better. The bad news is that Snake has requested some DAG in exchange for his help. Uh... Not knowing what that was, I naturally agreed that we would provide him with all the DAG he could carry. He seemed to be quite pleased at the thought of that. Do you have any idea what you've gotten us into, other than go? Not a clue, but I cleverly assumed it was some kind of elf slang that you know since you used to live around here. Just tell us what it is, and we can get it for him after we bust out of here using yet another of my ingenious plans. Well, yeah, it is open slang. But more specifically, it's prison slang. So what's it slang for, then? Yes, we don't know already. Um, well, you know, this is a prison, and it's filled with violent, lonely men, you know? And they're packed in these cramped cells day in and day out, and, you know, so... Dag is what they call... A shiv? A shank? No, it's... Perhaps I could, uh, renegotiate the terms of our agreement. You think? Psst. What does situational homosexuality mean? This is not what I had in mind when I began my quest. How did I travel so far only to arrive where it all began? No, uh, in the jail of the place where it all began anyway. What do you mean I am the cutest one? You can't even see my face. Therein lies your advantage, BM. If anything, Feed should do. He's got those roguish good looks after all. I knew these guys were stupid enough to easily manipulate you. Seems a little elfish to me anyway, you're probably used to it. That's why I joined them. I figured this whole light warrior shtick could be a great cover for my ulterior motive. But how could I have known that they'd be so stupid as to set me so far back? I only pray that it's not too late to save my father. Hello, Chancellor Usapa. Greetings, Doctor. How are our patients on this fine day? Our illustrious king, sire of the Niblock hand, suffers still. He is bedridden and hardly aware of the world around him. But what of the prince? Uh, uh, the prince? Why, his condition is continued to deteriorate. Yeah. 
And you have spared no expense in your valiant search for a cure, I trust? Naturally, my alphocratic oath would allow for nothing less. Alas, the prince's condition boggles even my medical training. <laughs> Excellent. The best revolutions are the ones that the state approved. I shall see to it personally that the new Santa Clan government rewards you most handsomely for your efforts, Doctor. I already have been. What is that, Doctor? Uh, I said this would be a glorious day for the elves of Santa. And so that morning... And I have formulated yet another brilliant scheme. Our escape will be a great success. I admit that I haven't worked out every last detail, but I'm confident everything will work out for the best in the end. Okay, let's call that plan stupid in honor of its creator, Mr. Stupid. <laughs> Mr. Stupid. Man, where do I come up with? Well, I don't see your ingenious plot to free us. Yeah? Well, you're about to see it so hard, it'll make your eyes bleed, baby. See, if there's no jail, then we can't be stuck in it. Ha! Huh. <laughs> you certainly make a compelling case. No! You'll destroy my ancestral home. I uh, what those darn elves would say if you did that. Besides, Brienne, you don't want to use your Hadakun tassels. You don't know me very well, do you? Okay, you shouldn't use your Hadakun tassels. Was it just me, or was Matoyer's nightmare poison even worse last night? Well... That is creepy, but mine was way worse than that. You call bladeless hilts a nightmare? Let me instruct you in the ways of terror. While the prospect of your nudity is a lesson in horror, that was hardly nightmare worthy. I had a nightmare of such insidious design that will make you wish your brains would implode, just so you won't have to contemplate it further. Well, what was it, Mr. Nightmare Pants? Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Wait, I don't get it. Chancellor, we must attend to the morning business. Oh, if we must. The only thing that makes the daily tedium bearable is knowing that I have power over life and death. I'll uh, bring in the next batch of prisoners, guard! What charges has the grand state of Elfland brought against these brutes? They stand accused of being humans on a sunny day. And how do you criminal scum plead? Guilty? More do you feel like lying to me today? Whoa, hold it! Human on a sunny day? How's that a crime? Well, it's a crime against nature as far as the Kingdom of Elf is concerned, Sonny. Naturally, if you can give me evidence supporting the evolutionary superiority of round ears, then you're free to go. Of course, since we don't allow fiction as evidence, you're boned. But it wasn't even a sunny day when you arrested us. Uh, according to the fairness of the weather, after sunny day laws are applicable during any and all local weather conditions. This is madness. <laughs> no, this is the law. I sentence you to death. Isn't there enough of a court? Well, you drive out from the executioner if you like. I'll bring in the next prisoners! Does it worry anyone else that no one has come out of that court alive? You have been summoned, prisoner scum. Bring in the next prisoners. I could really get used to this whole power slash corruption thing I've got going on. These criminal dogs stand charged with trespassing in elvish territories. The court would like to note, however, that the accused are humans and therefore several levels below a literally vandalizing canine. Comparison to stupid, stinky humans meant no ill will toward dogs, criminal or otherwise. Wait a second, Chancellor Usurper, Dr. Malpractice, it's me! Why is that familiar voice not begging for its miserable life? That couldn't be. Oh no! Nearly a sounding voice. Roguish good looks. Weird blue Elvis. Ish. Hair. Are you thinking what I hope you're thinking? Paranoid and reactionary. That's the name of the game. In addition to your crimes as humanity, the elf-looking human in the back with the inexplicably pointy elf ears gets one count of royal impersonation for looking just like the prince. But I am the prince. <gasps> <gasps> Lies. Dr. Malpractice has been treating Prince Elf for a debilitating illness that has eluded all treatments, no matter how expensive and outlandish they are. He is seen personally to the prince every day for the last year. Yes. In accordance with elf law, I demand to see proof of Prince Elf's medical immediately, if not sooner. Real familiarity with Elven law is suspicious. And even though the Prince hasn't received a visitor other than a doctor for the duration of his illness, I'll allow it. That's a bad idea. Uh, medically speaking.
previously on 8-Bit Theater Chaos. <laughs> I must protest yet again. Noted, Doctor, but the heathens have invoked Elven law. I'm no despo, Doctor. My corrupt rule will be strictly by the book. It's a fine line between political acumen and megalomania, after all. Blast your cunning usurper. What is that, Doctor? Um, I said we're here. Prince? Prince Elf, are you awake? There are some visitors for you. Um, I'm not feeling very well. I think they should just go away. That's what I said, Prince, but they would not listen. You always know best, Doctor. The Chancellor ought to give you a raise! Oh, Prince, you're too kind. The Chancellor is a wise ruler, so I'm sure he'd do the right thing. You mean like giving you a raise and access to all the royal concubines? We'll I just have to see, my Prince. We'll have to see. There you have it. Now, if you'll just follow me to your execution. What? That's just Dr. Malpractice disguising his voice poorly, so we'll go away. He's been against our going in there from the start. I demand to know what he's hiding. What do you say to these ridiculous accusations, Doctor? <coughs> Please take those lying prisoners away to die in what man is hell! Enough! The Prince's identity has been determined. You will now be executed. I'm sorry you feel that way. <sighs> Great work, you have been working nearly enough trouble already. I have to admire this master with which he sticks to his bluffs. Why that? My boots are stuck! Let's get a big to and carry us off with the like this. You know, I bet we'd have a chance if we just helped out. Yeah, I guess, but it's so much easier just to stand back and criticize. Hmm, I don't know. He seems to be doing rather well. Uh, that was unexpected. I thought all thieves could do it if I could run away. I'll deal with you, Doc, after I show you sir, that you're patient in there. I have been a fool. Can you forgive this unworthy civil servant, my prince? You always served with complete loyalty to the Elfish Crown. I have no doubt that your intent was anything but honourable. The crown, eh? Yeah. Yes, yes, I think yes, that'll yes, do just fine, but fine. now for more immediate concerns. But now, though, I have a few questions for our doctor. As do I. What did you do with all the money I've been sending you this last year? He told me he was using those sizeable donations from our foreign allies to fund the prohibitively expensive treatments he was supposed to be giving to you, our ill prince. The fact that we have no foreign allies really should have tipped me off. How else was I going to explain all those millions of foreign minted gear coming into our nation? Wait, let me get this straight. So Thief is the elf formerly known as Prince. Killing you is going to be the greatest moment of my life. I have a perfectly good explanation for why I lied to both of you, and I can tell you where all those millions of gear went. Where you sleep? But first, I'm afraid I have to use the little elves room. That's a reasonable excuse. You know where to find it, Doc. He'll be right back. Done it. I knew this would happen. I'm far too big. I need some help in here. But who would want to actually do that? Damn it, I thought elves were supposed to be scrawny twig boys. Ah, uh, now I'm all tangled up in my robes. I hope I can get untangled before I make a mess of things. If I wasn't so big, this wouldn't be a problem. My mighty spells are not overcompensation. My stat bonuses are not overcompensation. Must remain blissfully unaware of innuendo. What's wrong with them? Hmm. They're humans. They're obviously overcome by our elven majesty. But it would explain my abysmal charisma stat. But it would explain my stability urges. But it would explain my sword fixation. Me gods, all the blood is rushing to my head now. It's making me feel disoriented. With so much of my mass dangling out in front of me like this, it's only a matter of time before I topple over. Okay, we get it already. Well, we do. Meanwhile... I'd like to buy your fastest horse for double its value. Done and done, sir! I need your fastest boat. Fast. Most certainly, sir! Here you are. One passenger ticket, first class, one passenger ticket, horse class, and the entire cargo bay for one boat. If I may say so, it seems a bit odd to take a horse and a boat on an airship, sir. Oh, I'm just running away and I'm never gonna stop. Several hours later... When he gets back, I really need to go. Later that afternoon, the Light Warriors Minus One retire to a guest room at the Castle of Health. It's hard to believe that Thief has been lying to us about his past all this time. Hard to believe. 
Did you have anything that that two-faced liar has said since you first met her? I'm still not entirely convinced he is the real person. Knowing him, he could have set up that pillow thing weeks in advance to discredit the doctor. He's a liar and a cheat. I know what you mean, Red Mage. Thief has always been such a forthright and noble leader. I must admit, I'm shaken to my core that such an outstanding, morally unchallenged individual could have been lying to us. In the sense that he has no morals with which to be challenged, I guess you almost have a point. He's only on our team in the first place because someone was too stupid to read the contract Thief wrote up. White mate should be more careful. I will laugh for a week straight when I finally kill you. Meanwhile, in the royal room of royalty... Blast that prince elf! And blast that accursed doctor! How could I have known that the prince took it upon himself to venture into non-elf lands to seek a fortune to help find a cure for the mysterious illness that had befallen his father? <sighs> it seems only Dr. Malpractice knew of the prince's intentions. The doctor then faked the prince's illness so I would bribe him to make sure that the prince never recovered, so I could take over Elfland in a bloodless coup. And all the while he was putting the prince's ill-gotten gains into his own bank account. That blasted doctor played us both for fools and made a fortune. Meanwhile, I'm stuck with the rightful heir to the throne a mere two days before I was slated to take over. If only I could dispose of him in some convenient and untraceable manner. Ah, here he comes now. Excuse me, Chancellor. I didn't mean to interrupt your inner monologue, to which I am not privy. I have a question about the Royal Crown of Royalty. <laughs> of course, the Crown. Ah, yes. The Royal Crown of Royalty. The very mantle of leadership for our people, without which the Royal Family has no power to rule. What of it? Well, I can't seem to find it. I was afraid something like this was going to happen. It would appear the treachery of Dr. Malpractice has stabbed Elfland to the source of the core of the heart of our land's elfy goodness. While you were gone, he must have stolen away the night of the Royal Crown of Royalty. Some say he tossed it into the depths of Marsh Cave. Others claim I did it one night last week. Coincidentally, they were put to death for crimes against the state. One thing is for sure, the crown is definitely in Marsh Cave. I blame myself. The cave of Marsh has long been a hellish boil upon our lands. Its horrors are not for those of mortal stature, but truly, some say only a group of destined heroes could plumb its depth and live to tell the tale. Others say I made that part up just now, but they would put to death in a heartbeat if they did. Only there was a group of foreign devils whose violent deaths in Marsh Cave would not be questioned. And if only there was an errant prince whom the elfish public had not yet learned of to lead them. Alas, there is no hope. Wait, I know just such a group. You don't say. And they'll follow me into the pits of hell itself, or else I'll suffer the wrath of my contract. So, when he comes back, we stab him. Why is that your solution for everything? I go with what works. Then we're in agreement. When Feet walks in here, we kill him and throw off his contractual bonds. But I like Feet. Yeah, he gave me some candy. Mind you, it cost me my share of our treasure, but it was really good candy. You gave up all rights to your treasure for one piece of candy? Guys, I've got a very important issue to discuss with you. But first, I must close this door that's very important to back to you. I want to be surprised by that, but I can't be. It's what he would have wanted, if he was me. Yeah, shouldn't we heal him? Why bother? He'll just do or say something to make me stab him again. This is the best for all of us. Trust me. Anyway, you were going to say something? Uh, yeah. I know we came here looking for Matoya's crystal, but there's been a change of plans. I'll still help you guys find it. It's in my own best interest not to be ravaged by hellish, mind-bending nightmares for the rest of my life. But you've got to help me with something first. Got to. Got to. We don't got to do anything for you. And I think he's recovering. Yeah. I don't want to get bogged down in technicality, but technically, yes, you do. Blah, 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 blah. The party of the fifth part, here they're here to fall with hands referred to as the White Warriors, shall do whatsoever the party of the first part be. Commands under any and all circumstances, real or imaginary, throughout the universe, and all possible and impossible variations, they are for all perpetuity. Not quite dead. I shouldn't have given fight to my power, Tony. You really have no one to fight for yourself, you know? There, well. He's going to make it! There, not himself. No, 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 he's dead again. So, what is it we have to do for you, oh, Prince Prince? First of all, you won't refer to me as Prince, you refer to me as Thief. You got it, Prince. Uh, to answer your question, we must embark on a harrowing mission into the mouth of hell itself. 
Blah, 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 blah. You are missing the all too important point. Is there considerable experience to be earned and powerful magical items to be claimed? Well, considering that all those who went to die, I'm sure the slain and rotted bodies of many a hero must live for my sake. There's bound to be an item of power or two amongst those renowned corpses. Every part of that grisly tale appeals to me. I'm in. Hmm, certain death or no. Let me think about this for a minute. No. Ah. What we have here is a failure to communicate. This wasn't anything like a request, so much as it was a statement of certain contractual inevitabilities. Ah, I'm tired of your empty contractual threats. What could you threaten me with that I could stab and or blast my way out of? The start says, a dual other old gift My elite royal squad of all the He makes a good case. How do you get that moon to appear? In the middle of the day? Indoors? Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. My elite royal squad of the Other guy named Fighter or not? What did I ever do? Fighter! Yay! Fighter, I'm glad you survived! As am I. The prices they charge at those clinics is absurd. Ah, oh, shucks, guys. It's worth nothing. DM only stabbed me twice in his weak little wizard's wrists. That's hardly anything at all. What about the subsequent 47 stab wounds you suffered immediately afterward? What 47? Ah! <laughs> 
turn. Exhausted. To deliver. Final two stabbings. Feel free to indulge yourselves. Wow. Black Mage managed to burst every ketchup pack I was holding for our and prematurely aborted dragon bait. My precious dragon bait! That stuff's hard to find once you go to a restaurant. Joke. If I had the strength, I'd cry. And so the Night Warriors went to Marsh Cave in search of the Elvish Royal Crown of Royalty, the very living mantle of leadership throughout the Kingdom of Oak. Without the Royal Crown, there was no royal house to dominate the throne. A brutal civil war between the established ruling clan of Keebler and the mighty clan of Santa would be the only viable course of action. Such a conflict for rulership would surely take a horrible toll on the citizens of Elfland. Mere pawns in a game of power and wealth on a scale they could scarcely understand. Prince Elf knows this, he knows that the crown is the only way to ensure the fate of his family, but more importantly, it is the only way to ensure peace for the people of Elf. And so he quests for the crown, though it is lost to the depths of hell itself. Marsh Cave, a festering portal into the realm of the damned. None who enter return, the prince's fate is sealed and with the fate of Elfland. For truly, though there can be no royal house without the crown, there is nothing in the sacred text that says an ambitious chancellor can't rule without it. Wow, that's downright diabolical, Chancellor Usurper. Yes, I know, that's what 90% of all chancelloring is when you get down to it. I'll be sure to keep that in mind, sir. No, I wouldn't bother. I just wanted someone to appreciate my evil genius. Of course, we can't actually have you running around knowing these things. But, what are you saying? I'm your faithful and loyal assistant. Yes, and as such, you'll become the chancellor when I ascend to the throne. As I have proven with my own actions, chancellors cannot be trusted. Think of this as a preemptive execution. This isn't so bad. Yeah, that was only a boring light of day and all the happy animals in the forest and you guys. It's Shrek, it's just about time. I hope we do find hell so I can team up with chaos and kill you with the arrows. So... Oh, there, yeah. Yeah, I want some of that delicious experience I was promised. I already calculated the most efficient placement of my upcoming skill points in my head. I demand action. I mean, we've been walking through this forest for hours. Where's the legions of hell and slain heroes and so on? First of all, this is just a forest of trees. Picturesque forest of trees, thank you. The point is, but it's not Marsh Cave. Now that I think about it, the giant spiders started to die out around the same time the so-called Dark Elf cult was discovered and routed by the government. But no one's seen a Dark Elf in generations, so I seriously doubt we have to worry about spiders. See how the grass is stamped down here and here? Yes. That indicates that they were having an argument. You can really tell that just from their tracks. No, but you have to admit I'm probably right. Can't you be serious for once? We've lost the warriors of light, we're miles deep in hostile elven territory, and you're leaving the way, so I can only assume we're lost. Hmm. Hmm, what? What is that to hmm about, Blackbell? Well, just that the tracks we've been following are probably in here, and, er, they're sort of right in the middle of the tracks of a pack of giant spiders. What? They, they don't lead anywhere, so the spiders probably ambushed them from the trees and retired there immediately after the attack. The lack of bodies indicates that they were either eaten whole here or brought along. Let me get this straight. You're telling me their most optimistic fate is that they've been kidnapped by giant spiders, and they took them to some secret locale which we have no hope of ever finding. Yep. This news does not instill me with a great deal of confidence. How are we going to find them? What about that fate stuff? I'm sure something will turn up. You know, it's interesting. You said that there weren't any giant spiders, and yet, I can help notice that we've been captured by giant spiders. Your sarcasm will not get us out of here any faster. Perhaps, but I think what's hurting us the most right now, if you don't mind me saying so, is that you got us captured in the first place, Pete. Yeah. He's right. Playing the blame game won't help. No, but one quick round no, won't hurt. Watch. It seems to me. I win. That's kind of funny. No, BM, I mean, it's kind of funny that Vargo's playing the Zodiac to Shido Mentor taught me exactly how to get out of stuff like this. He always said that if you get tied up, you should use your sword to cut your shackles and free yourself. Surely Vargo was a credit to his Christmas class. Can you have the same thing about how to free yourself and how to screen get access to your sword? Of course, the lesson that covered that technique was part of my daily routine. I'd like to stop watching TV and pay a fucking tantrum for just one damn minute. Now then, something, 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 let's see you try. Were you even paying attention? Okay, I was still watching TV. So. If I could move my arms, I could give myself an escape ability. 
might have moved my arms would be down to one quarter our stuff. Do 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 dum dee dum do. Hi! Shut up. Didn't you see that guy? I can't move my arms, so I can't roll my wits plus alertness to find out if I saw him. You walked right by. You saw him with your own eyes. He would be cheating to use out of character knowledge. While anyone was looking. Let's vote for Red Mage. He'll be a great addition to the team, you morons. And I could make a great addition to the team, one of my bonus stuff. You can your arms? Yeah. It's a good thing I'm ignoring. I love big spiders and I can't deny. Oh, that's like it's can't deny. Dude, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake that healthy door. Here he goes again. This is a case of giant doom spiders. Why is that guy walking around like he owns the place? He's no giant spider. Whoa, check out the big brain on Dr. Strawhead. Hope Batman's got job insurance because there's a new detective on the prowl. And his name is Captain Obvious. Which is you. I don't like meddling in affairs I can't receive, but that was really lame. Dr. Strohat, Batman, Detective, Captain Obvious, you're all over the place. Focus, man, focus. Whoa, look out, Captain Obvious. There's a new, uh, a new stating the over apparent man here. So be careful. Your status as obvious talking guy is in danger over there. I just had a horrible thought. Those spiders are probably this guy's minions. This guy is dumber than Garland, but he's holding us as prisoners. That begs the question what the hell is wrong with us? I blame the overall lack of swordsmanship and thievery. Plus, you guys know absolutely nothing about proper staff. Enough of your mindless blather. Enough? We haven't even started. What was that, son? Son, that's wrong on more levels than I can count, and they're both really basic levels too. I mean, look at you, you're an elf, and I'm a fighter. It don't work, see? Now who's the stupidest one? Us having to hit you at all. No, Black Mage, don't you see what he's doing? I see you hitting me off, Black Count. Fighter is employing his intelligence training attack and a killing ploy to thwart our captor. So, as you can see, the true brilliance of the sword chuck lies in neither the sword nor the chuck. Rather, it is in their synthesis that makes them deadly. I don't want them. See? Its effects are already, uh, affecting you. What? My black brain is faster than the DJ to this game. Plus, it's practically driven with genius swords made from a special recipe of five herbs and spices. Nah. Silence! Isn't it ironic to yell the word silence? Like the good advice you didn't take? Don't you think? You don't pick up subtext, do you? Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Wah, 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 wah. This is another fine messy costume. Me? You're the leader of this outfit, lady. Yes, but you're the muscle here. Now, I don't mean to cast aspersions on your abilities in that regard, but here we are. I take offense to that. Good, you're paying attention. Hey, did you see that reference on my bodyguard application to my extensive anti arachnid combat training? Uh... No, you didn't! I was trained to be able to defeat any man. Man spider? Fine. Arachnid dude? Fine. Plain or giant spiders? No chance. I mean, do you know a spider's pressure points? I sure don't. Do they have pressure points? I wouldn't know. Maybe you should have used some black magic on them since you don't know any. Yes, I see your point. I'm sorry I lashed out at you. I should hope you are. I'm just a little high strung lately. It feels like fate has gone, excuse my blasphemy, completely bonkers. Look at us. We're stuck in which is most likely the country of the giant spider's cave. We don't know where the light warriors are, or if they're even alive. Meanwhile, the entire world hangs in the balance. Whee! Come back here. Try it all. Well, that answers that question. Five minutes earlier. That's it. I don't want another word out of anyone. That means no more sarcastic remarks from you. Yeah, that'll happen. And no more blathering about idiotic sword chucks from you. 
I could feel my brain contracting from your sheer stupidity. You're just saying that because you think some really dumb idea. The thought had crossed my mind, yeah. I'm coming down from here and I'll prove to you that sword charts are the single greatest advancement in all weaponology. Huh, <laughs> cut you down, eh? You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd think I'd like that, wouldn't you? Ha! <laughs> You'd like me to think that you wouldn't want that, wouldn't you? Would I? Wouldn't you? There's only one way to find out. I agree. See? I knew it. He thought he could trick me. Oh no, I was too... ...smart. You realize, of course, this means fighting with smartness. I want to cry, but there aren't enough tears. One hour later... Get back here, it's feeding time for the spiders! Well, at least the spider will live on to quest in our stead, but he'll get quadruple the experience on his own, so he'll be well provided for. Oh yeah, that makes my gruesome death from the dog of some giant rat you're totally fucking worth it. There's nothing to be so sarcastic. It would seem we have reached his agreement on this matter. Call me crazy, but what are energies not be best than thinking of a way out of the rough big one? And what do you suggest, our fearless leader? Hey, Fighter, why don't you stop running around like an idiot and shoot the enemy with a quick sword strike? That's just crazy amount to work! You're in for it now, elf dude! My legal counsel slash team leader has just advised me to kick your fruity goth ass back to the first age. Prepare to face the unparalleled force of a master of all 12 zodiac and pseudo style. Your name is Fighter, try not to forget it in your super short life. Ha! Poor Ooh. Do you not know who you now face? Yes, do I not know who now what face? What no Shut up! Only a fool would engage an enemy without knowing anything about him. Which explains exactly why that's what I did. That was supposed to be a torn one. One can only assume. Now prepare to face the awe-inspiring sword mastery of I, the Dark Elf Drizzle! Excuse me for just, just one second, please. But of course. Guys, did you hear that? Drizzle, the Dark Elf has captured us and he wants to fight. Drizzle? What's he gonna do? Cloud up? Rain all over you? I sure hope he isn't upgraded to the Dark Elf Tropical Storm. We might be in trouble then. His mum is so fat they named her Hurricane Badass. I'll have you know Drizzle roughly translates to the Relentless Scourge. Yeah, like the Relentless Scourge of having a really stupid name. We should have been more careful. The news said there was going to be an 80% chance of afternoon drizzles. See, it's, it's funny, because his name sounds like a common weather phenomenon, man. Yeah, just... no, okay? Quick fight, though. Kind of slow start. I only wanted to join in. I was listening to you. Oh, sure thing, Beef. Let me unsheath my old cutting sword here, and then... Yeah, oh, I'm nuts. You can't trick me into setting you free and make me chase you around my cave for an hour only to make fun of my name and free your friends that easily. All that stuff was easy. Prepare to meet your match, fighter, or I am Drizzle, master of spider-style Kachito. Ha! Spiders don't scare me... much. Yaha! <laughs> Booyah! Curse your bones, human. Ha! <laughs> Is that what you've got, Drizzle? Yes. This. He Me Dachen Dachen I You ought to be commended, fighter. You managed to counter my pen ultimate attack. Then it would seem that the pen is not mightier than the sword, despite our own strength. Damn it, fighter. Drizzle just defeated. And we were getting my giant spiders, and the fight has been taken care of too. My use of pen ultimate does not imply writing implements. It implies an even greater force at my command. Oh yeah, like what? Some sort of, I don't know, ultimate attack, I suppose? Yes. Oh, that's to be me then. <clears throat> Bring it on, Elfie McElton. My Kinshido is strong. Still some Elfie McElton. Strong enough to face one of these? Dreaded camel spider. <laughs> camel spider? What's it gonna do? Smell awful at me? You only wish. The dreaded camel spider is such a horrible creature that it's often cited by atheists as proof that there can be no such thing as a kind and loving god as long as it roams the earth. 
Camel spiders are not technically spiders. Rather, they're an unholy hybrid of the most awful aspects of both spiders and scorpions. They can grow over six inches in length and run faster than the human eye can follow. They hunt spiders, scorpions, mice, and birds. They have four pincer jaws and their venom can paralyze a man. They're without fear, they never sleep, and they viciously attack anything they perceive as a threat. Which is anything they perceive. And one of these creatures just hopped into your hair. Point. Kill it! 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 Wait, I'm calculating the dark magics. If I'm not properly prepared, I can give the fire a nasty stomachache. This could be a trick. But it. You'd like me to? Oh, no, you don't. Know, I'm not falling for that. Again. On the other hand, the last time I fed them wizards, they were shitting fire for a week. That wasn't so bad, really. You wouldn't believe the monkey buildup that I can accumulate on these walls in a few centuries of damage and life. It's long. Or just one time. Yeah -ha! What? Impossible! How? Simple. You merely forgot to take into account that I am a master of. Uh, booyah! I refuse to believe that worked. Look at us. We are clearly the two smartest members of the team. The captain stupid and dumbass were able to free themselves of a waste of stuff. Which one's which? That's not the point. Still, you must have. It doesn't matter. The point is that we're still stuck and can you believe it? Actually, I was never stuck in the weapon in the first place. What? I was just going to freeze the weapon until it dropped its guard so I could hop down the back to that. What? I'm a thief, you know. You do some stuff like this. Not all the time, really. Well, damn it. Why didn't anyone incorporate me into their escape lines? We're the Light Warriors, heroes of destiny, the stuff of legends, man. I figured we'd each think of a way out in that manner best suited to each of our epic idiots. Same Ah, yeah, yeah, me too. I'm... I'm waiting for the right time to strike, that's right. Yeah. Don't make it too spectacular. Mistress advised to fight with so it's not going to use the whole hour. I mean, even fighting with them. Yes. He's an idiot. I know. <clears throat> I'm standing right here, thank you. There they come. Why am I just standing here? I'm just not that one. My consent is in the has nothing to do with the fairly human fact about how I have to offer the fact that the mage or a member of the Quick, you are getting down from your current steps. Yeah, well, you see, I was running and I went really far, really fast, and. Don't tell me you ran. Right into the mailman on my way out. I ain't mad, yo. Wait a second, you ran out of the cave that way. And how did you run into the cave from that way? I used the back door. This is a cave. Caves don't have back doors. But it was not service entrance. A cave! Previously on 8 bit Chaos. Quick, you are get me down from your current statue. Yeah, well, you see, I was running, and I went really far, really fast, and... Don't tell me you ran. Right into the mailman on my way out. I ain't mad, yo. I must have fallen off while I was running around idiotically. You guys can play with the dog itself when it comes to things like that, so I'm sure there's no need to worry. I can't feel my legs! Yeah, probably right. So what should we do about Drizzle? Well, we could just leave our end thing to deal with him. He's a pretty good swordsman. I'm not sure how long they can last. 
I'm sure I don't care. It'll work out for me. It doesn't sound too evil when you say it. That's because I'm using it. No, 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 no. What? I said nothing. I could have sworn you said something about hypno-vision. The use of wit would be silly since I'm not smart enough to get picked by it. Yes. Silly. Foolish humans. Uh, actually, I'm an elf. Foolish humans. You have no escape from my superior Kenshido or my army of giant maniac spiders. It's a good thing I had the villainous foresight to sink in my giant spider web. That fighter guy was my equal in swordplay, and you two are nearly a match of my skills. I'd be genuinely screwed in the unlikely event of all four of you being loose at the same time. But since fighter fell to my camel spider ploy, your wizard is too stupid to free himself. There's no need to indulge in this subject further. Yo! Last! I hoped it would not come to this. You think you've won, don't you? Short sure, version, yeah. Long version, hell yes. Huh. Nothing of the horrors of Marsh Cave? Giant spiders and sword wielding dark elves are the least of your worries here. Orem, did you hear that? Yeah, it would seem we are closer to the crown than we previously thought. Yeah, Orem, did you hear that? Yeah, giant sword wielding spider pair, we're gonna run for it. I shall call upon the true guardian of Marsh Cave to dispatch you. I have never had to resort to this, but you four leave me precious little choice. Your demise is imminent. But your final thought should be on how honored it is to be slain by such a magnificent force. The thing about calling upon true guardians is it tends to take longer than a fatal monster. In other words, we're gonna get Eyes of March on your ass. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like thunder. Yeah, kinda. But as far as I can tell, it's still sunny outside. Wait, did you see that? What? At the entrance, it's oh ye gods, it's coming this way! What are you going on? Sweet merciful Bahamut, what is that? It's... It's hideous! Ah! Gee, did you get a Paddy Elf girl too? Ha! Huh. That must be the Cave Guardian's first victims. Pity. I was hoping to serve them to my giant spiders for dessert tonight. Looks like we'll have to go idiot hunting again once this is all over. You seem to forget we've got you surrounded. You are as good as the feature. I'm sure your guardian trick will probably kill off Fighter and Black Mage in the meantime. But it's not unreasonable to assume that their sacrifice will buy enough time for Red Mage and me to get away untouched. I don't like this power. Don't worry about it, BM. I've got your back. Whatever it is, it'll have to get through me first. Possibly with giant ashy poisonous claws and horrible acidic breath. I don't know who you are, reassuring. And her mask is it's what will immediately follow the ones that I fight. Meanwhile. What was that thing? I have no idea. I'm just glad it kept walking. You insignificant vermin. The guardian of Marsh Cave is here to smoke you like you've never been smote. But we've never been smote. Then my claim is a tautology. I am philosophically invincible. No, you're not. If the guardian doesn't smote us, then your statement will be false. <sighs> you will be the first one smote. Yeah, I'd be there. Tremble before the might of my guardian. It is a fierce chimera, a patchwork demon, composed of the most gruesome and deadly elements of a dozen horrible nightmare beasts. Its behemoth claws can tear a ship in twain. Its thorny carapace can resist the most powerful magics. It moves with the speed of lightning and strikes twice. It breathes fire that drips with poison. And, most terrible of all, it obeys my every command. To put it quite simply, you are doomed. Just once I'd like to go and die about being doomed. Would be a pleasant change of pace. My big, bad, true ancient guardian of the cave is going to beat you guys up so fast it'll be mentioned in the Elfland Journal of Science as a breakthrough experiment in faster than light theory. And here he is now. Now, behold the glorious mind of what the fog? <laughs> there must be some sort of mistake. I paid top dollar for that ancient true guardian. Wait a second, you paid for a true guardian? It seems like a good deal. Suckers! I was promised claws and an impossible biology. Well, a quick spot check since it's got little claws, probably for thoroughly. A duck-billed mammal is impossible enough for me. What about the poison and fire? 
He appears to have little poison bars on his hot legs. He also a bottle of vodka and a lighter taped to his soft underbelly. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Hey, is this the part where we get to massively kill the villain? I don't see why not. With the Dark Elf Drizzle soundly defeated, and the depths of Marsh Cave come to the core, the Warriors of the Light trekked back to the surface with the fabled elven royal crown of royalty in hand. Yeah, I think my favorite thing about being the hero of destiny is that there's all kinds of massive justifications for this biennial jerk in the way. Hey, hey. That is a nice part. There's the free sword. I will name them Stabby and Slashy. What about your father, Star Sword? Oh, I'm keeping those two. You could say I've got plans to use them as well. I see here. Your swords. Plans. That'll work out just fine, I'm sure. I think they have one coming. As do I. I think I can overcome the hand to play gap by incorporating juggling moves into my formidable repertoire. Well, look at all the wild giant spider dragon. Well, well, well. This is sexy mage and dumb belt. Oh, you gods. So, you come here often, or...? Just get us down. Oh, we'll cut you down, alright. Being much too short of that, I mean, however, some service does not come without a fight. Oh no, should we get these given this most dark time of the evening, get your arsenal to wipe our side of the evening? We're being best made in a scale usually reserved for the science of astronomy. Under ordinary circumstances, merely calculating a debt of the size would be an epic quest of mathematics in and of itself. But as chance would have it, I've been thinking at great lengths about what it is exactly that I want. Such laws often tell me the limitations of other those moments by which I can attain what it was that I found. But now, now that it's all changed, you will owe me your life in exchange for no way! Thank you for cutting his loose. Think nothing of it. I believe in exploiting as well as close call of Though I must admit there's certain difficulty in coming away from a transaction without obscene profit. I suppose you'd get magical with me anyway. I would rather die. I'm not sure what it is, but I get the sneaking suspicion that White Mage doesn't like. Maybe it's the unfocused blind murderous rage. Or the constant time want to pick up on it. You don't really think. Or those heartless acts of depravity. Or your less than stellar personality. I must not forget the smell. Well, how could you? It's kinda hard to do that, believe me. I assumed it went without singing myself. Those are my spell components, and shut up! Ought to cast yourself a shower one of these days. That's it! I shall all suffer my undying wrath, so there. It can't be as bad as the smell. <laughs> right, who said that? I can wait all day. Already I can fire the skin from your bones with a rusty jagged knife. I'm not even sure I'd stop. I'll give you what I want. You deplorable monster! Don't you have any sense of loyalty? These are your comrades! How dare you treat them in this way! Come on guys, we don't have to put up food news. When we get back to town, we all have cookies, except Black Mage. But I... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Once we return the crown, we can finally get back to our real quest for Matoya's Crystal Ivy. You mean your real quest to save the world? Chaos, King King, Lord of Evil, Emperor of Lies, Commissioner of the Dam. Any of this ring a bell? Um, well, who knows the time anymore? What with the fast-paced lifestyle, the modern villainy, villain adventure of A-World? Chaos is not an elected official. Ah, I'm going to point the fucking video times. No, I don't trust those. Too much room for favors if you catch my drift. He wasn't appointed either. He's just evil. You certainly have to be when a world without mandate like that. That's not just a reason, now. We know nothing that does not stand in the formation of the well, I keep my mouth shut for you. If you talk, you get nowhere. Pass. Yeah, if you treat them like people, you'll only encourage them to think they are you. Previously on Heroes. Previously on Dexter. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Chaos is not some elected official. Just means bring about justice. Bombs means truly wrong. 
That's a dangerous position to adopt. Would you so casually allow a single innocent to suffer eternal torment for the eternal bliss of everyone else? I guess you're going to take away. Allow me to resolve. See? That's my case. Quit close. You never were very good on the debate team. But I always won. By default, isn't that true? It's losing at the point. Quit close, bro. You know, that doesn't mean... What? A few cure spells and several miles of dangerous, yet dangerous forest vigor. My plan to claim all of Elfland for the Santa Clan is complete. With the king bedridden and Prince Elf rotting in the depths of Marsh Cave with those meddling humans in their impossible quest to reclaim the royal crown of royalty, I'll be unopposed in my bid for rulership. <laughs> hey, we're back. And we bought the crown. Eight minutes later. Um. Did you hear any of that? Yeah, every word of it. I see. Uh, good. Good. That's good. Because I was reading a letter. Yes. A letter of confession from... Dr. Malpractice, who you claim was responsible for stealing the crown and depositing it in Marsh Cave because it definitely wasn't you? Yes! Even though you were clearly holding no such letter. Oh, it must have disappeared as I was reading it. Just like a scroll when you cast a spell. Actually, that's a common misconception regarding magic scrolls. The scroll itself did not disappear. Only what's written. I said, the fact the letter isn't here is proof enough that I'm telling the truth and you're a dummy face. Well, when you put it like that, maybe all my years of training and experience have been completely wrong. Just one more terror-stricken night and we can get back to finding the toy's crystal. No. Of course, this does nothing to alleviate the horrors of day-to-day -day life. All the horrors of political treachery. Get out of here, you masher. A. I have important business to discuss. And B. The similarities between your robe, the dress, and big clothes should worry you more than being seen in any of them. I'll have you know that the main control tends to be better washed than yours. I can see the point, but not the law. May I continue? If you get you out of here any faster than yes. You serve to toss the royal crown of royalty into Marsh Cave's insurance. Without the crown, there could be no royal king, and anyone foolhardy enough to actually go after the crown would surely die. It was the perfect plan, and we ruined it. We're now staying in the usurper's guest quarters. Tonight will be his last chance to kill us before the ceremony. You want to hear the plan and live through the night? Surprise attack! You know, Bill, truly honest life for an Indy to have a battle cry. Even more so, the battle cry is for a stealth attack. Hey, they're dead, aren't they? So what's the matter, hmm? Well, they used to be six of us. Now they're eight. Maybe it's that whole alerting the targets with the battle cry thing. Whoa, what a stroke of luck. I know. What are the odds the black mage and thief could find body doubles lying out of the woods? Uh... Woo! Free bodies! Don't kill them, just knock them out. <laughs> yeah, crazy mode, ain't it? I wonder how White Mage and Black Belt made out. Never use that phrase. Meanwhile, in the next room. What was all that racket? Sorry, that was this ninja's battle cry. Or was it that ninja? It's a little hard to tell now that they've been beaten to death with their own limbs. We don't have to, then. What are we going for? Yes, Mom. That's a ninja that actually I ever saw one. Ah, oh, jeez. Looks like everything worked out for the best thing. Yup, the food strings here just perfectly cool and stuff dummies for the real estate bug left up here. Nothing weird or unfair about that, no sense. Mom? Dad? This? Ah! Uh... Perfect. Whomsoever may miss that family and cat. At least they will always live in your mind. Yes, since everyone knows that's not really living, it's even more accurate to say they are very after other death. The next morning... I trust our guests have been eliminated. We can only assume so, sir. The rooms are drenched in half clean gas. That's evidence as far as I'm concerned. I should mention that our ninja never did bother to report back. Well, they are ninja after all. Their ways are wrapped in mystery and concealable weapons. Besides, do you really think highly trained midnight assassins would have trouble dispatching a group of sleeping bumpers? 
What if they aren't bunglers, sir? Explain yourself, guard. What if theirs was a tale of a ragtag group in a world they didn't make? I fail to see how. And after a series of highly unlikely hijinks and misadventures, they learn the true meaning of friendship and overcome impossible odds to save the day? Preposterous tripe. In my experience, this is a case of I'd say it's already too late. Nonsense! I'll be appointed the ruler of Elfland within the hour. No amount of hackneyed drivel will stand in my way. Don't better this, Chancellor. Dun, dun, dun. How many times have I got to tell you to stop that? I know, I can't help it. Something just takes over and wham! Well. But how? I was on to scam all along. Impossible. I spent my entire life gaining this position and the trust of the royal family in preparation for this ultimate act of betrayal. Well, yeah, that was my first one. You're a chancellor. They're always back to have a scheme to take the front of those right from the service. You're excellent at first. I gotta say, Netflix are not a good free record for the Shush, not help. I must command you, your highness. You have eluded my every clandestine attempt to maim or murder you. You have recovered the royal crown of royalty. And you have uncovered my treacherous plot to cast Elfland into a civil war. Wait, I thought your treacherous plot was to overthrow the ruling keep in favour of Santa. Originally, yes. But now I've discovered that I can claim the Santa Clan elders were behind it all, thus causing a cultural and ethnic divide that will tear Elfland asunder. But that's utter madness. And terror. And strife. And all kinds of other awful things. All I was going to do as ruler was to plunge Elfland into a modern dark age anyway. A civil war will accomplish the same goal with the added benefit of watching you slit each other's throats in the process. But why? Haven't you put it together yet? I'm the Dark Elf King Astos, and Elfland must burn! Looks like I'll have to finish the job Prince Drizzle couldn't. So, Drizzle is your son? Wow, I mean Drizzle. Stop. You can't get us to make each other based on dead and drunk in the best. Shit. When I find Asto, he's gonna be a very fitting name. Because we're gonna kick his ass. And see, that we put our toes close to what? Just, you know, dumb. What was that? Ah! Well, we've got this thing where we make fun of the villain, often in very childish ways. It's where we relieve the stress. The Red Maze, he tries to go across him, but he's not very good at it. Clearly. This is science, Irish. Would you mind if we try that again, Sans Aaron? Oh, I don't see why not. Okay, ready? Shoot. Ass toast. More like your ass is toast. I don't think he's breathing. He's dead. He's not really dead. What long do you call that? Breathing in tag. He's a main villain. He can't be killed by a taunt. Maybe you had a bad heart, and the shock of how stupid that taunt was pushed the system over the edge. I'm sorry, but my taunt was way better than whatever Fred made was sputtering about. Can I stand by my ass to toke on it? For all you know, that's what we can do for your taunt. That's not entirely unreasonable. Lord knows you nearly did me. And I heard that. Fellows, we must not bicker. Our time is short, yet our mission's still grand. It seriously boots me out when fire talks like that. Yeah, I mean, one of the old ones too, I'm going to bump again to the other missile wagon. But so he makes a good point. We've got the same boss up in front of us. Let's get loose. No sweet named NPC enemies, how I love your XP. One hour later. Okay, what did everyone find? One done. See here, sorry to say. How about you, fighter? Yeah, just some junk. Not so far, really. Um, there uh, was this note in his pocket entitled Antidote, with a complex alchemic formula written. The gist of page 2, or exposition, is that some crazy wit is the only person through the previous pages to cure the Elven King. Only she can't because according to page 3, the backup plan, Vic stole her magic crystallized and can't see from the ritual that's the only way down to Oh, and there was this little crystal marble in his own pocket. Fighter will never have first skins again. End of discussion. Three and three. Having defeated the nefarious Dark Elf plot to destroy the Hallowed Lands of Earth, the Light Warriors set out to return the recovered magic crystal eye of Matoa along with the formula for what thief hoped to be the cure to his father's illness. I shall return with your pure father. I have not got my promise. But the citizens of Elfland were still standing around waiting the ceremony of drowning. 
Now, I don't have time for this. I'm a busy elf. I've got places to go, people who act superior to, and other than thou attitudes to express. And lo, the elves did stand up there for quite a while, because they were commanded by the world free to be there until the close of the ceremonies. Maybe they blindly followed their leader and starved to death. Maybe they got bored and went home. Who cares, they're stupid elves. What of the light warriors and their travels back to the human lands? Theirs was no easy voyage. They faced challenges at every turn. Ancient evils were slain, wrongs were righted, and bandits were scattered to the winds. Many were their adventures in these days, and the light warriors grew in power and reputation. Songs of their exploits were spread by the bards of all the lands of the world. Unfortunately, a wizard in a far-off land had been conducting causality experiments so he could develop a spell to eat his dinner without having to first prepare it. Why, yes, as a high-level wizard, I do feel justified expending so much time on such a trivial trick. Thanks for asking! The resultant chronoplastic backlash rewrote most recent history. As for the Light Warriors... Does something seem... I don't know, different to you guys? Yeah, but it also feels correct. Like the whole one spec is correct to the game. Be he too far gone? No, I think he'll be... <clears throat> I think he'll go through fine. Do you think he'll be joining us? Yar! After what they have done to him, is there really any doubt? And he said, caves don't have back doors. Yar! Shut up. Think that I need to have a serious discussion about the quality of his suck ass products. No, we don't. <laughs> <coughs> the point is that I am not satisfied with the product or service you provided me. Therefore, you're a twice. <laughs> 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 yes, they're really concentrated on that line. You see that harmless dot of things between satisfied and no? <laughs> satisfied and no. That's what they are. Satisfied and no. <laughs> As team leader, I. <laughs> we'll simply throw the armoire inside an extra spatial object. I happen to have a hypercube in case of just the dip of the for the button, but I happen to have a chat <laughs> We'll simply store the armoire inside an extra spatial object. I happen to have a hypercube in case of just a fucking <laughs> I happen to have a hypercube in case of just just the foot to get the bird. Well, think about it. If an 8 bit super ball bounces really high, then a 16 bit ladder could also interrupt. <laughs> this is a blind point. I really do just want sound for sound. sound for it, yeah. But where could they be? But where could they be? But where could they be? Hmm. Golly gee willikers, I sure don't know. I hope I'm put in the outtakes because I just want to say, as Black Belt, I'm more important than Black Mage, the Thief, the guy with the sword chucks, that's the only joke that's actually kept them through the entire thing. You see sword chucks now and you, you don't really see sword chucks anymore. And as Black Belt, as a Black Belt, I'm kind of offended because I train really hard and I'm not really, I'm not even on a shirt. There's a Thief t-shirt, a black mage t-shirt, a red mage t-shirt, and a fighter t-shirt. Is there a black belt t-shirt? No. There isn't. That is an interesting point, white mage. It seems that we are the ones doing all the footwork. Price line negotiator with black belt. Me and me mateys. <laughs> Do you really? Hey, <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> So, if Provoca be a goose town because we stole everything, Yar? I like to think that Provoca is a goose town. <laughs> 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 Meep! Uh, accent. Uh, accent? Well, what accent? I, I, don't, I don't hear any accent. 
Gulp, audible gulp. <laughs> Here atop the port building is the ideal position to Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Although technically, Mr. Pirate, sir, we don't really 